Well guys, all loaded up. Another day out on the California Delta. I've got some high expectations for today. If you followed along, I've been in a little bit of a slump with a big fish or just a good day on the water. And I just like my odds. So if you guys fish as much as I do, it's just, you know, you don't even have to be good. You just, you know, it's just bound to happen. So I'm hoping, crossing the fingers today for a really good or a solid day on the water and, uh, and to get a big fish. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do today. say at least an eight or a nine. If I'm gonna underestimate it, I'll say eight or nine because I've caught sevens before. It was way bigger than a seven. But wow, that's that hurts after not catching or hooking into a big fish for a long time and then finally hooking into one and losing it and seeing it, that stings. I don't even really know what to say right now. I'm hurting. <laughs> smaller than the one I just lost but it, it helps a little <laughs>
Well guys, that's gonna do it for today. Okay day overall. I mean, I definitely caught better quality fish than what I have been catching, so that's a good sign. Uh, the bad thing is obviously I lost that big one. And you know, I say nine, 10 pounds, I don't know. I've never caught a fish that big, so I don't, I don't have any reference. But uh, you know, fish we lose tend to uh, gain some weight. Honestly, it was my fault. I grabbed the net too early. Should have played it out more. So my fault, lesson learned, I hope. Good thing is I'm in California. I'm on the California Delta. There's big ones like that everywhere. Before I end this video, I just wanted to address a question I got on one of my previous videos. Um, a lot of guys were wondering about this, the Z-Man chatterbait setup. Um, so basically I use a Z-Man custom chatterbait. It's, that's what it's called. I don't customize it myself. It's a half ounce black and blue. Um, the trailer I use is a Gary Yamamoto Swim Senko trailer, black and blue. I caught off about three fourths to an inch of the trailer and thread it on this, uh, the chatterbait. As far as line, I use 12 pound fluorocarbon, vicious fluorocarbon. I don't really do anything else to the bait. Uh, oh, I will say this, I use a black nickel uh, blade for my chatterbaits. I just prefer that black nickel blade. The knot I tie, I don't know the name of the knot, but I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, to the video where I learned this knot. And it's the best knot for fluorocarbon. Uh, I stopped using the Palomar knot for fluorocarbon a few years ago just because I I'd have too many breakoffs. And this knot is hands down, I, I mean I don't even think I've ever really broken off because of the knot uh, with fluorocarbon. So take a look at that knot in the description. The one thing with that knot is you're going to get three tag ends. So what I do is I take a little bobber stop and uh, I thread that on the line first and then just cinch it down to those tag ends. Uh, just so you get less hang-ups on little pieces of grass or whatnot. As far as conditions, um, I mean, I throw the chatterbait year-round. I'd say the only time I don't really throw it is when it's really calm. So as long as there's some ch some chop on the water, some wind, chatterbait's a good choice. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too painful to watch me lose that big fish. It's going to hurt for a while.